Okay. Well, it's been an exciting day uh, here at West Texas uh, for their football signees this year. We've uh, we've uh, received 41 uh, uh, letters of intent in the uh, uh, mail on the fax uh, today. So uh, those guys are in the boat. We're sp still expecting uh, two or three more to come in either later today or uh, later in the week. But uh, kind of some of the highlights of uh, today. Uh, we pretty well stayed uh, in Texas this year with our high school recruits. Uh, we had uh, 12 signed from the Houston area. We had uh, nine from uh, the Panhandle and uh, South Plains area, all the way down to, uh, uh, I guess, uh, Odessa, Midland, Sonora. We include that as, uh, as West Texas and, uh, and South Plains and, and uh, the Panhandle. Dallas-Fort Worth, we had uh, nine uh, athletes uh, signed from the Metroplex there. We had five from Central Texas, uh, three from uh, San Antonio, one from El Paso, one from the uh, state of New Mexico, one from South Texas, and one from East Texas. So uh, pretty well uh, went all over the state of Texas and then uh, out into Albuquerque to, uh, to get a big offense or offensive lineman there. Uh, some of the highlights, I, I think uh, I'm really proud of the, uh, the Panhandle area guys that we got. Uh, we targeted uh, uh, four guys as our top recruits, and uh, we got three of them to sign with us. Uh, the fourth one is uh, still out there. And uh, we hadn't given up on him yet, but it might be a couple weeks before he does sign. But uh, Will Tolliver from right here in Canyon, a tremendous athlete on the basketball court, uh, safety receiver, a uh, really sharp kid academically. He's going to be a Buffalo. Uh, we're planning on playing him at safety. Uh, we've got uh, Philip Sorrells from Emerald High School, who uh, was a tremendous linebacker. Uh, he's an awesome wrestler. He's, uh, he's fun to watch uh, as he competes here at Emerald High School uh, this spring. Uh, if you hadn't got a chance to watch him wrestle, you need to get out there and watch that guy. And uh, then also uh, Rashondrick uh, Shepard from Tascosa, uh, a tremendous athlete at defensive end. He's a great speed rusher. He's got uh, really long arms and uh, really comes off the ball well. And uh, so those, those are three of the four that we really wanted. Uh, the Dumas quarterback, uh, Clayton Baker, uh, we targeted him last summer. He came to our football camp and uh, we fell in love with him. Uh, he came up several ball games and uh, he is a, a really outstanding uh, quarterback prospect for us uh, also. Uh, being from the local area. Uh, some of the other guys that, uh, that we're really excited about, defensive line, uh, basically we got uh, five defensive linemen, five linebackers, and seven defensive backs. And uh, that was pretty good uh, variety there. It, it turned out just about the way we, uh, we were hoping it would. Uh, of the defensive linemen, four of the top six guys that we uh, had targeted and had ranked on our charts, we actually signed for those top six. The two that got away both went division one. So uh, that's one area that we, uh, I think we did a really good job evaluating and a very thorough job of recruiting. Uh, possibly the uh, the guy that would show up first on, uh, on a depth chart might be uh, Lapeer uh, Wilrich. Uh, he is from uh, Giddings High School. Uh, he's a 6'2", 295 uh, pound uh, nose guard. It's uh, very mature, very athletic, and uh, I expect him to play uh, pretty early. Uh, linebacker, uh, we mentioned uh, uh, Philip Sorrells, uh, also a kid out of Temple named uh, Seth Culp is, a, is an outstanding linebacker also, 410 pound bencher and uh, uh, he plays just like Kyle Voss did uh, there at Belton just right up the road so uh, uh, we expect maybe some, uh, some early playing time out of Seth Culp also. Uh, and, and then in the secondary uh, we had uh, several big kids that, uh, that signed, you know, uh, 190, 95 pound secondary kids are pretty good size. Uh, they can run and track also, and uh, so uh, hopefully those guys will develop uh, pretty quick also and uh, end up uh, playing for us uh, pretty soon. Quentin McCoy is from Arlington Bowie. Uh, he is, uh, he's one of our top-ranked uh, defensive backs. Uh, on offense, uh, again, 23 guys on offense, 17 on defense, and one kicker. Uh, on the signee uh, list, uh, wide receiver, uh, we, got, we got seven guys to play at four different positions, so that's almost too deep in that freshman class. And uh, there's, some, there's some guys there that have 6'2 to 6'4 height, uh, probably four of those guys that we think uh, you know, are, are hard to get. And uh, hopefully uh, those guys will continue to develop. They're good track guys also. And uh, we can get them on the field on the outside. And uh, then at least three inside receivers that, uh, that can go pretty good too. Uh, some of those uh, top ones, uh, Elon uh, Fusler from Aldine Eisenhower and uh, Richard Smith from Klein Collins. Uh, tremendous prospects, uh, you know, as receivers. Uh, tight end is a position that we hadn't recruited in the past, but uh, Coach Best, our offensive coordinator, is, uh, you know, he, he's changing the offense enough that we're at, uh, we've got to have tight ends. 
Last year we kind of had to adjust and put some offensive linemen out there in uh, jersey, jerseys number 80 to 88 or whatever just so that uh, we could line them up out there. But we, we got a little bit of mileage out of our tight ends last year. We expect to get great mileage this year. And uh, so we signed five uh, tight end, H-back, fullback type bodies uh, that we can uh, move around and play a two tight end offense, have a two back offense, and have a lead blocker. Some things that we hadn't done very much of in the past, we're expecting you know, anywhere from 20 to 35 snaps with those guys on the field next year. So uh, a couple of those uh, guys uh, may emerge as, uh, as uh, true freshmen playing for us next year. Uh, Blake Dean was probably the highest ranked uh, blocker that we got out of that bunch. He also is from Temple. Uh, he's about 6'1", uh, 240. And uh, he, he looks, he plays like an offensive lineman. He's got that temperament. And uh, I expect him to, uh, to make an impact pretty soon for us there at tight end. Offensive line, uh, didn't feel like we signed as many is what we had liked and, uh, and everything, only signed four. Uh, they are uh, definitely quality linemen, but uh, uh, you know I'd like to have five or six or seven uh, offensive linemen if we could have got them signed. But uh, we, uh, we got a big kid out of uh, Albuquerque. His dad uh, played basketball at the Uni University of New Mexico. Uh, he's already six foot seven and uh, very, very athletic. And uh, so hopefully he'll, uh, he'll mature pretty quick. And then uh, and running back, uh, that's where we probably loaded up uh, uh, more than uh, uh, we thought that we would, but uh, a lot of these guys can play either in the secondary or maybe at linebacker or something like that uh, eventually also if they don't emerge as one of the top three uh, running backs in a couple of years. So uh, we've got four of those guys. A fifth one is uh, expected to sign later on tonight uh, in the running back uh, situation. Quarterback, again, I mentioned Clayton Baker from Dumas, uh, top, uh, top quarterback, also uh, from uh, uh, Odessa. Uh, Casey Ryan is, uh, is an outstanding quarterback, played at Permian, and uh, he is also getting the Gene Mayfield uh, Endowed Scholarship that uh, uh, Jimmy Campbell and a lot of the uh, boosters around here raised a lot of money on behalf of uh, Gene, uh, Gene Mayfield, the former coach here at uh, West Texas and the former coach at Odessa Permian. And uh, so they've started a new scholarship uh, in name of him, and uh, Casey was the uh, recipient of that this year. Uh, also, uh, quarterback out of board that uh, uh, has, a, has a bright future also, about a six foot three kid there. And the kicker that we signed was out of uh, South Texas. Uh, he's one of uh, Sergio's good buddies. Uh, he and Sergio work out together. They uh, live about five miles uh, apart. In fact, I think he got uh, Sergio's mom to bring over a West Texas shirt so he could uh, have it on when he signed down there in the, uh, in the valley today. So he's, he's pretty excited also. Uh, Jose uh, uh, Azarte, I believe is the way you pronounce his name, and he can kick and punt. So that kind of is uh, some of the highlights of uh, Today's signing, uh, be glad to answer any questions about uh, uh, any of the recruiting uh, endeavors that we uh, just uh, finalized today. Talk about the impact of local defensive kids are going to see right into next year, like the Shepherd and, and uh, Phil and Sorrells. Yes. Uh, you know, it's hard for a freshman to play for us. We've got over 100 uh, athletes in the program right now, so we recruit every freshman with the pretense that he's going to redshirt. And uh, if, they, uh, if they blossom uh, early for us, uh, get in here maybe in July and develop, uh, learn the system, and, uh, and or we have some injuries or something like that where there's a, a need for a freshman to play, uh, otherwise they won't. Uh, Sorrells is definitely uh, mature enough to play uh, for us, and, uh, and Rashondrick is definitely athletic enough to play for us. So uh, time will tell on those two guys. Uh, uh, we're, we're really excited to get them into camp and see what they can do. Is there a need area at all this year that you guys may be focused on a little more that, that you might need to get some impact immediately? Probably linebacker, inside linebacker, and tight end were the two areas that we, uh, when we talked to all the freshmen, those were the two areas that we said, you know, if you come in and you can do it, your, your chances of playing are probably better than most of the freshmen at all the other positions on the team. But we don't have a whole lot of depth at inside linebacker, and uh, tight end is a new position. And uh, it's uh, definitely up for grabs this spring and, uh, and this summer. Talk about your quarterback situation. You feel good with the kids you got, I guess, coming in to back up with Dustin. A lot of experience after Dustin. Right. Uh, you know, we feel good with uh, – we've got at least four quarterbacks on campus right now that uh, we feel like uh, can potentially get into the lineup next year and uh, we can win with. Uh, we don't anticipate uh, breaking a red shirt on any of the freshmen that we, that we signed today. Uh, just going to try to develop them and try to get uh, one or two of those guys ready to play in uh, in two or three years when the doors open up for them. Coming off of you, you have defensively, do you think some of these defensive players will continue to improve the defense like it's been going? 
I think so. We uh, we had great success last year, led uh, the conference in nearly every uh, defensive category. Uh, these guys, uh, you know, a lot of these guys are going to fit right in, but it's going to take them time because it's uh, it's it's a hard adjustment from high school to uh, to this level of play in Division Two. So uh, I don't expect to see too many of them break in, but we've got a lot of depth returning from last year's team and a lot of uh, quality playing time. Uh, even though we did lose a, a lot of seniors last year, we we rotated quite a few guys in and out of there. You're saying you're at yet you Sorrell's outside linebacker, but you're also saying you need a need for inside. Mm -hmm. Would you move in, consider moving him in there sooner than you want to? Or we would. Uh, Coach uh, Maxfield played him one year at outside and one year at inside. He looked good at uh, on film at both spots. Uh, we we think he's going to be a better outside linebacker. But if he uh, if he gets through wrestling, you know he's wrestling about 220 pounds. He's loud balloon up to 240, and he may come up. Uh, as the inside backer on day one, but uh, we'll just uh, we'll figure out uh, which which spot number one that we need him, and then uh, which uh, which spot that he feel figures uh, figures into first.